the month of August is over and we are moving into the more autumnal months and probably starting to eat a little bit more that is a bit more wholesome and a bit hotter and I think the slow cooker will be coming out soon. But August budget, how did we do? Now for this month we did have some Tesco's vouchers to use so let's see what impact that will have made on the total. Hi there, I'm Samantha, this is the channel Trying To Get By. If you haven't been here before, hello and welcome. If you have, welcome back. Now, if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscription button. Give me a thumbs up if you are going to, if you enjoy this video, I should say. And let's see what August had to offer in terms of bargains. First shopping day of the month. Went to Tesco's, went to Lidl, got my mother-in-law's shopping, did my shopping with my dad. And this is all I bought. And I didn't even intentionally go in for these. In fact, the only thing I went in to get for us was that, to clean the fish tank. That was it. But then I remembered we needed some flour, so I got those, 65p each. And then I spotted these in Tesco's. They were on the reduced price to £1.50 each, which is the best price that I ever see them. Normally £2, £2.50, so if I ever see them £1.50, buy them. Good day, 13th of September before these run out. So in total, we paid £9 for these, £1.30 for these. So that is £10.30, up in the corner. Tuesday the 9th, this is all that we have bought so far um, on shopping. Doing a Tuesday shop today instead of a Thursday shop because I'm busy on Thursday, but we've got some milk for Chris. Was going to get some milk for me, some soy milk. I have still got some left, but didn't have any in, so I didn't get any. Um, decaf coffee, uh, Lidl's because Tesco's has become so expensive. Some, I can't believe it's not butter. Uh, some Alpro single soy cream. If you use something like this, get it from the ambient aisle get it from the allergen aisle because this is 85p if you get it from the fridge it's it's over a pound and it's the same stuff pretty much so this is a lot cheaper um it was free dome donut today at little and these apple libras are not something i would ever have or have had um yes i've drank two of them already one of each because it's warm I'm thirsty. I'm going to put some of these in the fridge and I'm going to have some more. Uh, these were reduced from 280 to two pound uh, in Tesco's. And then on the Checkout Smart app, it knocked another pound off each of them. So it works out one pound for the whole pack. So 25p a can is pretty decent. And they are going to go very quickly because apparently the weather's going to get hotter again. Ah, it was so warm. Anyway, this shopping came to a 13 pound and 89p and i feel as though i haven't got a lot for what i've got oh forgot something crisps so yeah all that 13 pound 89p it's not very much but it'll do us and we will see what we buy next did a nip to asda because tesco's have not had any cat food in for ages so I thought I'd go to Asda and while I was in there, notice these in the whoopsie section, 37p each. That's pretty decent that, so I got a couple of those. And then I got some ice cream for Chris because, bless him, he can't cope with the heat. So he needs anything to cool him down. So this was £6.14, add it to our total in the corner and we'll carry on with the month. Did a quick nip to Morrison's to do a too good to go box. Um, while I was in there, I picked up some crisps because we've run out of ready salted. Um, and I'm having a bit of a crisp fest this week. I'm off work, Chris is off work, and I've been craving some snacks. So I've got some crisps. And while I was in there, I spotted this. I know that they've got a new range of um, plant-based products. And this looks really quite nice. So mushroom duck cell topping, puff pastry nice wellington dish so we're going to give that a crack so this was a three pound 98 pence plus we'll add on the morrison's box which is three pound nine p add it to the total in our corner up there and then we'll crack on with the proper shopping on thursday forgot to add 
Before I went to Morrison's, went to Unicorn Grocery to get my bullion powder and my bicarb. That came to £3.69 for those. So add that to the corner as well. And watch out for a Unicorn Grocery video, um, which I'll be posting soon. So it might either be on already or coming after this video. Depends when I get the editing done. So we've picked up some Oleo goodies today, so obviously that adds zero pounds and zero pence to our total for the month. But I'll tell you what I've got. I've got a couple of tiger batons. Absolutely love these. A three cheese bloomer, so Chris will have to have his um, lactose tablets before having that. Um, we have got some pretzels, a multi BC loaf, some free from... Um, Easter bunnies, so they're dairy free. That's quite cool. And this, <gasps> this stuff. I only got this the first time in this haul, and it is yum sticks. Really, really tasty. I'm going to have to have a look out for this. It's probably going to be beyond the budget that I would normally want to spend for stuff, but I will. I'll have a look and see what offers I can get. Very tasty, you can tell, because this one's nearly empty. So that's Olio, and we'll carry on with the shopping. It is Thursday the 18th, it is normal shopping day and this is £25.81 worth of shopping. Yes people, you may notice some things on here, oh yeah, let me take you right to the back. More crisps, see they've already been opened. That's just some cans going on the floor, don't worry about it. See the honey knot, see the pizza, this is why. I don't normally go shopping with Chris. Chris is off this week, so he has been shopping with me. And for some reason, things have ended up in the trolley that wouldn't normally. But never mind. What I will say is that we have got a nice selection of the normal stuff that we need to get. Some mayo, some coffee. Chris is back to work next week, so he needs to take some coffee with him. He'll have to take some milk with him as well. Um, I got myself some more chickpeas and some coconut milk because we are nearly out of those spotted this uh, reduced priced barbecue kit the mint wasn't a reduced price but it was on a tesco's club car price and we've got no mints in so we've got our meatless mints just topping up the cucumber and the lettuce because we are now finally out of lettuce um, i have planted some more so we will see how well that grows topping up the cheese we got this last week for a really reduced price this week on one of the apps, can't remember, Green Gin, Checkout Smart, Shopmium, one of those three, it's free, full cash back, excellent, and I really, really like this, it was really good, if you stick it in the fridge, so, so cold, so refreshing, absolutely delicious, so we will add the total up in the corner, in the usual way, and we will carry on with the shopping for the month. I love nipping out for a walk and nipping into the shops and finding some bargains. So each one of these sausage packets are 99p each, so that's 396 added to the total. But considering that they should have been about £12 for the four of them, I'm not going to complain. We're back from doing shopping for the week and we have just bought, bought ourselves a few things. We are topping up our lemonade. We have got a new juice because if you remember a month, possibly two ago, we got a load of Robinson's juice really, really, really cheap. So we've only got two bottles of that left. So we've got ourselves a juice, a couple of milk for Chris, some mushrooms for me, some cheese and some soft cheese and some, oh, these... These are really tasty. I, t I tried these recently from um, somewhere else and they are absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice. We're going to have a roast dinner this weekend, so I thought those would be quite nice. Now, I know I've got some spinach in the freezer, but I want to do a couple of spinach recipes this week. I'm going to do a spinach and uh, soft cheese um, cannelloni with some of the tomato sauce that we've made because we've got all those tomatoes to use up. So we need to incorporate that into something. So this cost us £11.27. However, we had £2 off at Lidl this week because we'd been spending enough um, on the shop that when you get up to £100, you can get £2 off. Now, 
if you're going to query that in the you can't possibly have spent 100 pounds i don't just do my shopping i do other people's shopping as well and i get the bonus of having the points so we're down to nine pound 27 tag it up here and we'll see where we're up to i put them away and nearly forgot to show you so you've seen these before if you've watched earlier video and these are three pound each from sainsbury's because i was nipping out to the bank and i thought i'll nip in sainsbury's see what there is and i've got four pound cash back on these so they've only cost me a pound each two pound added to the top corner i think we did quite well there for 82 pound and 15 pence however tesco's vouchers were used what difference did that make well i'm gonna have to check the back of my hand because i have written it down we had £38.50 in Tesco's vouchers that we used. Yes, I know you can spend your Tesco's vouchers and double and quadruple them to go and spend at Thorpe Park or places like that. I don't know if that's one of them, but it's places like that. And generally, they're not somewhere that we particularly want to visit. So using them off our shopping is the best way for us to use them personally. So that took our shopping down to £43.65. Can't always remember the numbers <laughs> anyway as an aside i did do some other shopping this month i did some clothes shopping clothes shopping is something i very very rarely do if you want to see what i got have a look on my instagram which is trying to get by 2021 um, and have a look at what i got because i don't go shopping in the normal shops i go to the charity shops so i don't know if you can see this is my current charity shop find this top i am wearing and um, possibly you can see my pants these are also charity shop these are quite nice and i got some other items and i bought two pairs of trousers and three tops and i don't think i even spent 20 pounds so check out the instagram and see what you think let me know in the comments on instagram what you think of the clothes and let me know in the comments on the youtube on what you think of the shopping for the month next month's shopping is going to be a bit different i'm hoping to come into some vouchers for um i do surveys online for a few different survey um sites which i do if we're sat watching a bit of telly or things like that i just like to tap on the computer and do those surveys and they do add up and you can end up with some pretty cool vouchers so i'm hoping to cash in some of those and do a bit of a bulk shop next month so let me know in the comments if you would like to see what i get in my bulk shop and thank you for watching and i'll see you next time